Efficiency isn't just for the boss. Hi, I'm Greg with Job Tips and Straight Talk. And today's Straight Talk video is to help you as an employee develop a really good position in the mind of your manager or your boss or your employer regarding your efficiency. Even if you are an hourly employee, it's important to develop efficiencies in what you do. Not cutting corners, not cheating that way, but just being efficient and being aware of the time you spend on the various tasks that you do. We've all heard it said about people that milk the clock, right? Sort of take advantage of the clock. You're an hourly employee and you want to make sure you're not done too soon because if I am done too soon, the boss might send me home and, <clears throat> and I appreciate all that. I appreciate the fact that you need a certain number of hours if you're an hourly employee at the pay rate that you've agreed to work that you need a certain number of hours to pay your bills and I understand that and I respect that. So here's a way that you can approach this efficiency thing I think in a way that the boss will really really appreciate. First of all before I go there let me just tell you that <clears throat> as an employer such as we are when I see employees sort of milking the clock and taking advantage of the time, it really creates a point of irritation from us toward that employee. It may not be visible. Perhaps it's not obvious to the employee. But I can assure you that that employee who is milking the clock and taking advantage, if you will, of our dollars, of our payroll dollars, is not going to be viewed favorably when it comes to pay raise time or promotion or us looking for other ways that that employee could be more beneficial to not only us but to his or her career as well. So let your employer know that you're doing all you can and then some if possible, <coughs> excuse me, if possible, to ensure that you are as efficient as you possibly can with the job that you're doing, the tasks that are required of you in such a way that not only are you being on time, you're also operating within the quality parameters that are expected. So you're not, for example, rushing to get things done, no, but you're also not wasting time. And maybe you're doing some studying on time management in such a way that you can perhaps be more valuable to the employer given the time you're spending doing the tasks that you are doing for your boss. And when your employer sees that you are being conscientious of the payroll dollars, you won't be one who he or she will be looking to cut back on hours. Do quite the contrary. You may be the one that gets more hours, perhaps overtime hours, because the boss will see that while other people may be milking the clock, if you will, or being less efficient, he knows that you're the one to put on the task if he wants it done efficiently, in a quality way, by someone who is conscientious enough toward the company and the company resources, which are not just tools, equipment, and office supplies and those sorts of things, but in terms of the time spent doing what you are paid to do. It's also another way I should say great way to put yourself in line for a promotion because efficiency is a trait or a character, I should say, qualification for promotion to management. Companies who are looking for managers are often looking for people that have time management skills, their efficiency in their thinking, their quality thinking, their all these sorts of things. So put yourself ahead of the pack and be efficient with the work that you do. Don't take advantage and make sure your boss knows that you are thinking of ways to be most efficient without sacrificing quality of your work on a regular basis. I mean, after all, if your boss doesn't know that you're doing that, well, you might be doing it and you might be feeling good doing it, but it helps to know if the boss knows about it. Let him know or let her know if it's a if it's a, if it's a lady. <laughs> Let your boss know, he or she, that you're doing all you can to 
manage the company's payroll resources wisely. Well, again, I am Greg with Job Tips and Straight Talk. I hope this helps you. Like, share, subscribe, all those good things that we like to do here on YouTube. And I hope you develop that career. You have that wonderful, dynamic kind of job that you want to have. Take care.